when we move into talking about multi-tenant commercial properties, retail properties, and industrial properties, what we come to understand is that each one of these properties is, in essence, its own little ecosystem. And so because we have different businesses, different tenancies that are all on their individual leases, we start to understand that the physical adjacencies can make a difference. And so naturally, we can understand that with retail, if you have three or four tenants that are all clustered together and they all go dark or all the leases terminate, that creates a, a dead zone in a retail center. And that's obviously a very bad thing for a landlord. But what about in an office building? Is this an important thing with respect to physical adjacency? In general, in an office building, physical adjacency doesn't matter um, very much. Certainly not nearly as it does for a uh, for a, a retail center, because in a retail context, there are synergies. I, I got groceries, and but beforehand, I want to get my nails done, or I want to get a pizza, or after, or whatever. There are some, and also retail has a lot of. Um, of instantaneous decisions that are made, a lot of spontaneity that's involved. Office, it, it's occurring internally much more so. It's, it's what's going on inside. It's not advertised to the outside in the same way. It's my space. And as you know, a landlord often can't even go in their tenant's space in an office building. Right. Uh, as opposed to retail, where I can almost always go into retail space, whether I'm the landlord or, or not. So it's, it's the privacy, it's, the, it's not as much. Now, there are some instances where adjacencies matter. So in my experience, more on the negative than the positive, namely, I'm one of the big four accounting firms, and I don't want my office adjacent to one of the other big four. Or I'm one of the major brokerage houses, and I don't want to have my uh, office adjacent to them. But as a general matter, what happens in, in an office space is internal, whereas with retail, it's an external. Similarly, warehouse. Uh, as long as the materials that are stored next to your boxes are not hazardous or dangerous in some way, I don't care whose boxes are sitting next to my boxes. Um, right. And so again, for a warehouse, it doesn't matter. Um, and again, I'm sure you can again find if I've branded my warehouse with a huge sign, maybe, right? But in the norm, retail is an external product, and office and um, warehouse are internal products, if you will. And therefore, adjacencies don't matter as much. One of the concepts that you draw distinction upon is this notion of occupancy and the distinction between physical occupancy and economic occupancy. And so on the margin, if I'm a landlord, I would in fact prefer to have economic occupancy but no physical occupancy. Let's say that the federal government's a tenant, but they're not in the space, but yet I'm getting the rent it, checks. As long as they're there and, and going to be there a long time and paying their rent, yeah, absolutely. There's no or relatively less wear and tear on Relatively, yeah, exactly. Right. That's the best way to say it.